Hello everybody and welcome to No Man's Sky. This is Alan Paul. So, yeah, everybody, everybody seems to be doing this this uh, uh, complete interceptor update. They're going absolutely bonkers with it. I'm sure you've seen all the videos in the last few days. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of videos out right now. Um, I'm a little late getting to it because of some issues I had, of course. But I wanted to, obviously, get involved as well. Um, for multiple reasons, I am really excited about this update. So, want to state out loud just because I can. Remember the fractal update? Remember what I said? And I said that update was in preparation of something much bigger. And I kept telling everybody, nobody would listen. I said multiple times, they're just adjusting things. They're cleaning up everything, getting ready for a big update. And that's all that was going to be, along with an expedition. Now we have the update out that I was expecting. So you're looking at me. I'm on this wacky-looking planet. Obviously, you see the purple crystals in the background. You know what I'm doing. I'm looking for multi-tools, because obviously I need new ones. I'm looking for ships, because obviously these ships are freaking awesome. They're the most amazing ships I've seen in the game since I started playing. Um, I told you before that my favorite ships were the solar ships. Um, the Utopia Speeder was right up there with it. These ships are incredible. The variations we're finding are amazing. I was flying a box all day yesterday looking for new ships. This weird looking sentinel box. It was the strangest looking thing I'd ever seen. So I'm on this wacky planet right now. To, to be clear, this planet is got a weather of, it's a cerulean, cerulean planet, azure storms, limited resources, copious amounts of fauna, as you can see them wandering around in the background, abundant flora, and you see the sentinels are sharded from the atlas. We're on one of those obvious planets right now, okay? You notice on the right-hand side it says I'm on activated indium. I'm in a blue star system. Activated indium. Um, this is an actual system. It's got a space station. It's, I think, Gek, if I remember correctly. And I found myself just a ship. It's nothing special. Um... It's a pretty neat looking ship, and you know, one of the th weird glitches, and I think it needs to be reported if it hasn't already multiple times, is the ships keep changing names. I don't, I don't know if it's just me or not, but every time I get in the ship, it has a different name on it. Now it says it's purged. It, that wasn't the name yesterday. Now let's get in the ship and see what it tells us. So, let's see. So that's the system I'm at on the left-hand side. It says it's purged right now. I guarantee I get out of this ship on my on my uh, freighter or something like that, and it's going to have a different name. But anyway, right now it says it's purged. It's a really neat looking ship. It's kind of an off white color is what I thought it was, but I got into space and I swear it looked purple. So I don't know if it's the color of the planet or what have you. But I'm looking for multi-tools. I'm looking for a new ship. Now every ship on the planet is going to look like this one. So I love that when they does that with the... Uh, with this with the screen so and I like the fact that it can hover I like the fact that it can hover that is a really important clue um, Jason Blaze came out with a nice video of, of harvesting resources with one of these ships because of its hover abilities so let's get out into the space I'll take show you what this one looks like it's kind of bulky looking at first right so let's get into photo mode um, let's get the Sun into a area that we can actually see it you see what I mean it's not white it's purple I've never seen a purple ship before. So I don't know if it's some kind of reflection or what have you, but this is kind of a cool looking ship. So we're going to take this to, I think we're going to take it to the anomaly. By the way, I'm in the Eisentum Galaxy, for those who care. Eisentum Galaxy is where I'm at, so you saw the glyphs at the bottom of the screen there, I hope. By all means, get a screenshot of it and try to look for this ship on here. The planet also has the pistol version. What I like to call the the, um, the multi-tools that look like, I don't know what you'd call it, like a paint gun wand, uh, like a uh, paintball shooter, I guess. I don't know. But they say that those are the most powerful ones around. Now, see here, it looks, it looks white again. Okay, so I guess it is white. The purple must have been a reflection of the planet. So it is reflecting whatever the color is on the planet. So well, these are some cool ships. So I want to show you some of the ships I've actually acquired, and I'll show you my favorite so far. I really like the swept wings ones that you can find. I'm really hoping I can I can get myself one of those. Um, 
There's my Utopian Speeder, 40 inch ship. Yep, that's a good, cool name. Gotta keep the golden one. Blue Divide. I'm probably gonna get rid of Lucent. Uh, I don't think I particularly care for it. And I have these two ships here. So this is one. Not not a bad ship. It's kind of nice. It's got that orangey look, and it just has the wings that just pop out a little bit. But the one I'm really most fond of so far is the last one. There's this one. For some reason, it just looks so mean. Especially when you start flying it, so... That's what I mean. It gets the four wings that pop out like that. So, and yeah, everything out here just looks purple, I guess. Because of the rings and stuff like that. It's the craziest looking system. Got to go up higher, I guess, to get a better view of the top of the ship. So this is what she looks like. And from the front. With the, of course, the anomaly right, right behind it, right? Still a cool looking shot. And right now it's one of my favorite ships. So the other ship that I'm flying right now, it's not a favorite. Yeah, I just love those ships popping in, but it's pretty good. Let's go back in. We're going to switch over. It's got a yellow appearance to it, so I'm kind of liking that because one of my attributes to my um, outfit that I wear on my character is... Of course, I've got a little bit of the white, I've got a little bit of the blue, but it's gold, it's that yellow that I've also got in that background. So this kind of would fit the motif that I'm playing with. See? Yes, blue and white for the most part, but i got the yellow highlights and stuff like that, and the gold and stuff. I do like the jetpack. I think it's really cool. Um, problem is, is that when you're running, and you pull out your weapon and everything like that, it tends to get in the way. Uh, in, in third person view and I prefer to play in third person view when I'm uh, when I'm playing play period you know there's no way around that um, let's I just want to change it out for now because I'll, I'll put the cape back on for the time being <clears throat> I've also adjusted some audio so I've been getting some feedback lately that my voice being as deep as it is tends to get drowned out a little bit <laughs> so it's kind of hard to hear me so I've made some adjustments to the equalizer on it so hopefully that helps a little bit brings up the mid-range and the up-range, well, top-range, I should say. Uh, backpack. So for now, even though I could go with um, a different wing pack or something like that, I'm just going to go back to my cape. Uh, not tentacled. That one. I'm going to go back to this cape for now while I'm doing my research. So let's enjoy that for the time being, and that way I don't have to worry about it as much getting in my way, especially when I'm fighting things. Now, I would I would lie to you. I'd be lying to you if I told you I wasn't glitching out some stuff lately. Um, obviously, to look for ships, you need a lot of materials. Um, especially, let's take a quick peek. Especially a lot of these radiant charge. You see, I only got eight left at the moment. Um, you need the inverted mirrors. So I've got 13 of those left at the moment. And you need harmonic brains, which, as you can see, I've got a few at the moment. And what am I doing with all these? Well, yeah. So I'm going to take the glass. I'm going to put it back in my freighter. My freighter's actual main inventory is starting to get kind of full. I've got so much stuff in this ship right now. Apart from on my person right now, it is ridiculous. I need to clean out inventory. Um, <laughs> it's getting bad. But uh, I keep the ammunition up for now. There's my locator. I do need more of these radiant shards at some point. So I'll go ahead and glitch, uh, glitch some extras at this point. Radiant shards aren't hard to cut, come by. They're pretty easy to get when you're on, on the planet. Uh, we need to switch out the ship. So, where are you? So there's the ship that I currently have been using and the glass soul. Um, so I'm going to switch back to this. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I do like it. It's a really cool looking ship. And for some reason, I think we can get more ships now. Because every time I land on a planet, I'm not having to exchange it. I can still claim it. So I don't know. I think we got as many as ten ships that we can have now. Instead of the usual six or seven or how many we had before. Okay. So this is the planet, and this is the system. And this we got this purple planet. It's really, really cool. I'm looking for a multi-tool, is what I'm looking for right now. And 
I'm really in in the um because I'm using this one by Harbinger that I found on another planet. Not I found, somebody else found, of course, at one point. Um, but I've only got a supercharged slot over here and a supercharged slot over here. And it's got a couple of supercharged slots over here now. It's been nerfed to death. So obviously I need a new multi-tool. Um, so I'm in the I'm in the market. Let's just put it that way. So we're gonna go, let's just go over here real quick and we'll land elsewhere and we'll do a little search. So it's real easy, if you have all the materials that you require, all you need to do is go down to the planetary surface. You don't have to land, as long as you get kind of close. It's a wacky planet. And see, everything goes purple. It's really kind of crazy looking, especially with the rings and everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and jump over to my exosuit and we're gonna look for this, the echolocator. Um, I had about 45 of them at one point, so you can see how much work I've been doing the last couple of days. I haven't videoed, videoed, I haven't recorded anything until now. There we go. How uh, far out are we? Two minutes. So everything seems to be really close by to each other, so you can get to these things pretty easily. Yep, got that little pause. The ship will always be the same. So this always leads to a settlement, to the abandoned set, not abandoned settlement, abandoned campsite, I guess you'd call it, every single time. That's all you'll get from this. I always try to land right here. I don't even bother picking up the materials around the outside anymore in the wheelbarrows. I, I don't care. I've gotten to the point where I've gotten so much crap from them, I don't know what to do with it anymore. So I'm gonna go to the harmonic interface. Same thing every time. Locate the dissonance. It's going to show me where the ship is. I think I've been to this one already. I shouldn't have been able to do that. I should have had to unlock it first. Okay. That's interesting. So that means that this is unlocked. And you see that this is the kind of weapon we have on the on the planet here. So it's not the pistol style. It's the ion irradiator. Um, this is a C-class. I'm not really interested in that. Um, to give you an idea of what I've gathered so far... So we have the, the Harbasho. I've gotten this one, the Handmade Dream Pro, which we'll show you real quick. Is an A-Class. I'm interested to see what happens when I upgrade it because it's only got the one slot over here. None of these slots are supercharged except for this one. So I'm really curious to see what happens when I start upgrading it. Um, but I'm more interested in finding a ship at the moment. So let's be clear. Also found, and I pulled some other weapons out, loop of peace, which is kind of the same thing. It's got the two supercharged slots here. I don't know if it's going to get more in this area or not, or whether they're going to appear over here. So I'm kind of hanging on to it to see what happens. And then let's go to another one real fast. You see how many I'm gathering? Because I didn't have any. My entire inventory was empty. And this one was, when I opened it up, had this many slots in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three rows right here. With no supercharged slots at all. It had one over here and that's it. These two weren't even showing on here yet. And it was empty. There was nothing in here. I didn't even have a scanner or a mining beam, which as you know, you cannot, like if I try to pick this up, you notice it's not even in there. I can't even remove it from my inventory on here. See, I could take the scanner out if I want to. The scanner I can take out, but there are certain things which you should never be able to remove. Like right now, I have a bolt caster on here, which I can remove and store, but there should be at least one other weapon in here. It, it literally had nothing. There was nothing on here, and I had to add everything back in. So really kind of disappointed in what happened, but you know, I'm so excited about what's happened now. <laughs> so we're going to keep going. So what we're going to do today, um, we are, what, 15 minutes into this video already, and I'm just, you know, going all nerd and geeked out and everything like that with you. Um, hey, what do you know, landed pilot? Uh, we're going to head out of the system. 
So I'm going to pull in. I'm going to do something a little different. I probably should have done it while I was on the planet. Let's do it because I don't feel like doing it on the freighter real quick. We'll land on the planet. I know I'm going all over the place here. So, and, you know, look, there's the ship it re relate, relates to. So keep in mind, like I said, when you find a ship on a planet, check out this storm, too, the gravitational anomaly storm. It's crazy. I've never been on a planet with storms like this. So whenever you land on a planet like this, you always find a ship that's always the same. See, I've already found this ship. It's amazing. I, I picked a spot and it happened to be the same spot. This is what happens during the storm. It's the craziest thing. It produces a gravitational anomaly and everything goes nuts. And at the height of the storm, these purple bubbles start appearing all over the place, here and there. It is the weirdest planet I've ever been on. As a matter of fact, I might just throw down a base computer here, just because. Um, it's just weird. Let me, let me go a little ways away. It looks like there's another site over here. That's, that's hilarious. Look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been on planets with gravitational issues. That's not a problem. I've been there before. No big deal. But, you know, I'm look at my jetpack. It's recharging while I'm in the air. I could literally fly around this entire planet. <laughs> with just my jetpack. You know, I could go a little faster for crying out loud. Let's try let's try going a little faster. I'm very curious. There we go. And hey, let's grab some radiant shards while we're over here. And we'll drop down a base computer. This is fun. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any animals that attack me here. This is the worst of the storm, too, keeping that in mind. Okay? Worst of the storm right now. There are no animals that attack you here. It is actually a pretty peaceful planet, and it's probably a pretty cool planet to put a base on. So that may be in the up-and-coming. I may be using this for a base soon. So... It looks like there's some more radiant shards over here. I'll go ahead and grab some. And literally, you can just fly around this planet. <laughs> oh, and I love I love the sound of these radiant shards and all the uh, har harmonic harmonic uh, disturbances around here. They're just too cool. It's like singing in the background. So yeah, quite a different. Uh, kind of a different voice that you're hearing from me in a long time. Alright, I think it's time to put it down base computer. So literally, during the storm, you could literally fly around this planet with ever, without ever losing a charge. Just with your jetpack alone. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping I've also taken care of the graphic issues. A lot of people, oh, not a lot of people, some people have been saying. A couple of people have been saying this. I've been watching the video. Every time I do like some kind of a uh, battle or something like that, that things are going uh, almost like the FPS drops out to death. And I thought it was like, well, that could be your internet that could be your internet connection, that could be any number of things, right? Yeah, I'll just grab that too real quick. You know, something like that. But then I started looking and I realized that I was uploading at 30 FPS for some reason instead of the 60. And I don't know why that is. So hopefully this gets a little better. Um, I think here's a good spot. No, it's not. <laughs> Let's just go over here. I'll drop down a base computer for now so I can find this place again. Because I, I'm... It's crazy. It's a crazy planet. So we'll just put this down. It should be far enough away from any crashed sites that if anyone wants to find it. Again, Eisenton system. Okay, Eisenton system is where this is located at. <clears throat> Galaxy, Eisenton Galaxy. And I'm going to rename this real quick. Uh, hello, yeah, renaming. There we go. Uh, strange. Strange. I can't type. World. <laughs> we'll keep that. All right. And I'm not going to put anything down yet. I'm just going to leave it as such so I know where I can come back here. Um, you see that in the distance? I wonder what that is. Now watch. Back to normal. Is that crazy or what? 
We'll pull in the ship here in a minute. I just want to see what that is. Because that looks like another... Oh, that's just the weirdest thing. There should be a ship here. That's usually what you find when you find a ship. I've never seen one like this before. Yeah, why not? It's gonna give us a bunch of nonsense. 16, huh? Third. Oh, good for you. I am not sure what third means. Does that mean there's a ship near here? And it's just... Oh, that's the weirdest thing in the world. Uh, I don't know what to make of it. Huh. Yeah, there's nothing here. Anything down here? No? I mean, there will be a ship here if I land my ship here, but that won't be the ship we're looking for. Okay, let's, uh, let's bring my ship in. Okay, we'll get off this planet. We're gonna go to another system, and we'll check it out. Like I said, this is just a really weird arrangement here. But hey, it's all cool. Alright, alright. Enough goofing off. Actually, the whole video is going, to be about, is going to be about goofing off. So I'm really loving these ships. They're really, really cool. I did it again, didn't I? I'm not landing on the planet again. Let's get out of this ship. I need to... You know what we really could do, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? We can... Pull in the freighter. We'll go ahead and go with freighter at this point, okay? And they still got those loud doors. They haven't... Uh, like I said, I don't think they're going to get rid of those. It's a pretty cool ship. It really isn't a cool ship. But the more I fly it around the more, as much as it's got a really big feel to it, uh, the more I'm enjoying other ships. So, um, what I've been doing, and I'll show you this one time, I've been taking my freighter to new systems because it has a much farther warp distance it can go, go 3,000 light years, um, and be doing it that way. And yeah, it looks like I'm still good. So, again, we're looking just like everybody else for a system that is going to say dissident like that one but i'm trying to find a three star system this is a two star i'm looking for a three star system so we'll just keep looking around and i'm going to miss it you're going to say hey you just missed one or something like don't worry about it there's a lot of them they're they're all over the place um don't go to these systems if it doesn't have a race economy or conflict if you don't see anything there leave it alone don't even bother you can't find anything there. i've pulled stuff in with me and i still couldn't find anything there so it has to have a race within the system. Um, I haven't tried one where it said the data was unavailable, but it was um, populated. So something to think about. Looks like I found two of them here. Okay. Yep. Can't get the other one to lock in again. Oh, there. Nope. See, there's literally one star on that system. I'm going to try to find something different. And this takes a while. This is the part that can take a lot of time because you're looking for a system that is three-star at the same time. There's one, Viking. Experimental flourishing and the conflict is unruly. So I don't know what this means for the products that we'll find. It looks like there's only three planets here and no moons. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. And we take the freighter there. So this is the last time I'm going to take my freighter someplace. I'm going to use a ship that I normally use on a regular basis um, because the it's more economic. I think that's the word. More efficient, more economic to just take your own ship in, your, your small ship, and then once you get where you're going, you can pull in your freighter without any loss. See, if I take a look at my freighter right now... Yeah, get rid of that. That was weird. There we go. Look at my freighter right now. Um, you see it's dropped. I had that fully charged. So I'll get one or two jumps out of it. And that's it. Then we're done. Um, so it's really not that great. But even though I have a 3,500 year light, uh, light year range out of it. So, eh, you know, eh, I don't know. Uh, got plenty of these guys. High, high line brains. Um, 
<laughs> I don't know what to do with them all at this point because I'm basically glitching out getting more stuff out of these things in order to try to find what I'm looking for. So I won't be using this because it doesn't have, even though it has hyperdrive and everything like that, it's not very efficient. So I will be switching over to a different ship when I get to the landing bay. So first thing we do is first contact. No one has ever been here before. I keep this close by. We check it out. Which which planet? There's only three. Here it is. It's a marshy planet. And copper. So this is an uh, this is a yellow star system. So we'll see what it's like. Nothing special. Let's go ahead and head down. So that's what I do every single time, and I've been doing every time. That's the good news. That's the good part about having one of the fr the freighters is you can do a quick uh, quick check. So while I'd love to grab one of you guys. I am going to grab... Let's grab Freudian. Because he has a hyperdrive on it. So let's see if we can find a ship. Um, that space station right in front of me. That's very nice. Is this our planet? It is not. So I'm going to go to single player view. Or first person view, I should say. And look for the other two planets and see where they are. Okay, oh, they're back-to-back. -back. Should be the blue one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, in order to go... Yep, that's what I thought. We're just too close to our ship right now. And... Get through before all the other ships pop in. This is known as UC3. UC3. No, we're not going to check out the object. Thank you very much. I'm not interested in your Girl Scout cookies today. Maybe I should have got that extended warranty on my ship. Maybe I'd have all my multi-tools still. Oh, and I went through quite a thing. I actually tried uh, uh, wiping out steam and reinstalling it. Oh my gosh, the nightmare I had to go through to get that working properly. And I really don't think it's still working properly at this point. I may have to do it again. Yay! Oh well, it is what it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is <clears throat> just like every other planet. It's purple. So for any of you newcomers who have not had to do it before, how do you get the items that you need? So I'm going to look at my inventory. How bad is this planet? Uh, let's just check real quick. Well, it doesn't look like it's any health issues. It may, it may get stormy in a little bit. So I'm going to jump over here. So what we need is we need Radiant Shard. It's pretty easy to come by. Uh, we need Crystallized Heart. You're going to get tons of those uh, as well. The Inverted Mirrors are a pain in the neck because you got to look for the uh, uh, for those creatures. I think there's actually one over here. Yeah, there he is right there. you got to look for these creatures and take it from them while not getting attacked afterwards. And I finally figured out what this guy looks like. Even though he's got a drill on board, every time he drills down like that, it reminds me of a creature from the movie The Matrix when they're cutting through steel and stuff like that. Except they usually have little feelers underneath that are going nuts. It's really kind of strange. Anyway, so you can get it from them. All right, so that's where you get your inverted mirrors. You only get one, usually, from one of these guys. And then you gotta run away and everything like that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I need a few extra of that. So I'm gonna put down my portable refiner. You've probably seen this glitch before. Very simple. It works 90% of the time. If it doesn't work, you just get your item that you put in back, okay? There's my inverted mirrors, right? I could use, let's say I could use another 10 of them. I'm going to get 20. So I put down two more portable reviners. One, two. And then pick them up. Watch on the right. I just got 30 inverted mirrors. So that's how you get more. See? One. Now I have I had 10 before and, and an extra three. Now I've got 30. So there you go. And since radiant shards are easy to come by... You know, don't worry too much about getting those or not. For some reason, it still glitches out. I also noticed that my fuel inverter is not showing a charge anymore. And I don't know why. So, just saying. One of the other glitches, I think, that's in the uh, in the game right now. Anywho, that's how you get those. i got plenty of harm harm uh, harmonized brains. Harmonized? Harmonized? Harmonic? Singing in harmony? Three-part harmonic brains. Yes, that's what they were. I got several right now, so I can get up to uh, eight more ships. Three, six, seven, eight. Yes. Um, so, 
let's see how this all goes. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to get back in the ship because I don't feel like scanning outside the ship. And we'll go in here and we're going to choose these guys. And I need to get more of those. I'm going to get the echolocator. I'm going to wait for it to pop up. One more. And there it is. Okay. So this, again, is going to take us to one of those sites. And at the one hour mark, I'll go ahead and cut out the video. But what I'll do is I'll just do this in a multi-part series. So that they're in one hour increments. Okay. Because basically, I'm just going to go on a search for things. It's just going to be fun. Nothing special, nothing going on. I am going to start a new regular playthrough with the new updates. Because I'm finding that some people are starting the new play playthroughs. I don't think much has changed in the way of the storyline. But the systems that they're starting, and sometimes have corrupted Sentinel planets on it. So, you could end up with one of these ships very early on in your regular playthrough at no charge except for the hairiness that you have to go through to get the items you need. Which is kind of a crazy, crazy battle. I, don't, I can't even imagine doing that in, um, uh, what do you call it? Permadeath mode at this point. All right. Yeah, it's time to math. Scan the memory, memory registers first. Uh, let's see, so we've got 12, 9, and 5. Okay. Up here, we're going to do 12. Over here is the whale. 9 is the first one. And 5 is over here. Deactivate. Okay, let's go take a peek at it. Looks like it's just a regular isotope absorber type style. Um, nothing special on this one. It's a B class. It's okay. Not what I'm looking for. If it's not an A class, I'm really kind of not interested. Unless I see these things like right next to each other down here, then I might be interested. So, anywho. And if I try to take it, you'll notice it says here, exchange. So I will have to exchange out one of my multi-tools. I finally maxed them all back out again. Um, I probably need to do that one of these days. I did it again. Let's go back over to our computer and make it scan for the ship. I'm not sure. I think the ships always are there. And you could literally just fly low over the planet and look for stuff. There's so many on each planet, it's ridiculous. So, I don't know. I think just doing a uh, sweep of the planet, if you find a moon that's like this, much smaller circumference, my gosh, I think you'd be tripping over them as you're wandering around. So. Okay. This one is not far. How far away? 20 seconds? Yeah, we're not even going to bother going into space. I should use either one of the other ships because they're so much faster on the planet than, than this one is. This one's maneuverability and speed on the planet is much, much slower. Yeah, see, 270. 275 or so. Let's see what kind of ship we get. Looks like an interesting one. Split wing. Interesting looking ship. Okay. Check her out. Uh, we will go ahead and take these out because you can't take the ship up anyway without it. This is my freighter. Okay. And you notice I have off everything I need, so we'll just go ahead and take it. So it's an A-class. You see the uh, your supercharged slots are all separated over here. So, yeah, and they keep putting these stupid phase beams in here. Who uses that? Really? Honestly, come on. So compare it to what I've got right now. No, I'm not going to give you my Freudian ship. Um, it's worth just a touch more. It's got everything unlocked, so I'm really not interested in doing that. Let's pull in a different ship real quick, and we'll go ahead and take it for a spin. Uh, let's see. There you go. So, yeah, as much as I like the ship, it's a nice ship. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull it in, and I'm going to pull in something different. I could always go back to that planet and get another one at this point. Okay. And we shouldn't have anything on that ship right now. I don't think there's anything in the inventory, and I haven't added any anything to it. Okay, so now we're going to compare. And they're both A-class. This one's worth a little bit more. 
has some more supercharged slots on it, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. And we're going to, instead of claiming it, because we're going to add the ship to the collection, we're going to swap. Because I want to leave a spot open for a special ship that I want to get. So let's take a peek at it. Uh, first things first. Get rid of the uselessness. I'm going to put this into my freighter inventory, because I don't need him clogging up my exosuit right now. That's our hyper... Hyperactive core, if you will. <laughs> Hyperdrive core. Uh, this is our lift. Do not put that in a charge slot. That will just be dangerous. But your pulse engine, by all means, put it in there. I put my shield in another one, and I put the guns in a third. Uh, pilot interface, and we'll just put you guys over here. Okay, just to get it rearranged and give us a little bit more juice to get where we're going. All right, let's see what she looks like inside. Okay, kind of got a red interior going on. Um, let's, of course, you got to get the effect. Let's jump out, jump back in. Ugh. Gives me chills when it does that. Okay, let's see what she looks like when we take off. Oh, it's like it's the exact same as the other one, except it's got the split wing going on right there. So that's pretty good. Let's do a quick look. See, that's a pretty sharp looking ship, man. It's not going to be the one I keep. But it's a pretty sharp ship. Sharp ship, sharp ship, sharp ship, sharp ship. Anyway, sorry. All right. So we're looking good. So what do we do now? So we've checked out the multi-tool. we checked out the ship. We know all the ships are going to look like this. Kind of not interested. Uh, looks like this planet has, has uh, diplos on it. Look at that. You get an egg from one of those, and you can grow them to some incredible sizes if you want. I mean, tall as mountains. So keep that in mind. Anyway... Pretty neat ship. Um, again, let's go to camera mode for a second. Look at the bottom left. That is your... Uh, I, whoa, okay, sorry about that. I, uh, yeah, don't do that to the mouse. Make everybody puke. Um, bottom left is your glyphs for the planet. Isentum Galaxy. Keep that in mind. We're doing everything Isentum, nothing in Euclid right now. I just prefer the Isentum Galaxy for those who have been there. It's a very peaceful galaxy. You can find a lot of paradise planets in this world, in this uh, galaxy. So that's the way I like it. Anyway, there's your... There it is. Okay, let's get out of here. So, not bad. A good ship. Let's get out into space real quick, and we'll just take a quick peek at it. Okay, so we're right. It's red and gray. You got a red and gray look to it. We'll just do one more time. We're gonna do move the move the sun into the in the in the galaxy. I'm sure everybody's going nuts in the galaxy right now. In this solar system. So, kind of a nice looking ship if that's the kind of style you like. So, what do we do? Should we go ahead and pull in our freighter and just go ahead and keep taking it? I can go through warp cells, no problem. And, of course, I'm probably not far enough out to pull it in. There we go. That should be far enough. And we'll go back into our freighter and take a look. The thing I like... Yeah, big doors. The thing I like about the freighter is being able to scan the entire system real quick. Check out which planet I'm going to, and then just simply look for that planet and go from there. And you'll see that most of the systems that I'm finding are unexplored. I'm hitting so many first contacts today. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Let's see how many uh, shots we can get out of this. So we're going to look for another system here. dee 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 Uh... Dissident, there's one. Uh, looks like a two-star. One-star, pirate-controlled. Been there. Not really interested in what I'm finding on the pirate-controlled systems. So I'm going to look for somewhere else. Just go out there and look around. Lots of water. Water, 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 water. Should be a dissident one coming up because, like I said, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's one. Three star, Viking. Let's take a peek. Uh, four planets. I don't see any moons. Let's take a look. It says a tranquil. I don't know what that's going to mean for the options we find on this system. Voice is a little rough today. I'm trying to keep hydrated without having to drive you guys nuts.
Getting some very nice comments from people. I really appreciate it. Haven't seen much in the way of subscribers going up, so please, please, please subscribe. Come on. You know you have hundreds of subscriptions to other places. Subscribe to me, too. Looks like we do have one moon here. Oh, weird. So, discovered by me. Again, a, a new system. Okay, so it's the ringed planet. Ozawa, 72G7. Uh, copper, star bulb. So this is going to be uh, a pretty easy going system here. Just want to take a look at the other planets real quick. So we're going to go here. Overgrown. What's this one again? Stellar Corruption. Interesting. So we're looking for the ringed planet. And we will take the ship that I was in. Uh, that one over there. Uh, there's the yellow guy. Freudian ship. My golden vector. Dinote. Blue divide. Yeah, I've got all kinds of ships in here. And... See, it changed to burned. Isn't that weird? That is pretty cool. But I am looking for a swept wing type ship. Okay. So, look for a planet with rings. Let's head out the side real quick. Look, a planet with rings. This must be it. Corrupted Sentinels. Ah, very, very uh, wet planet, it looks like. We're going to head right to the center of this arch... Was it archipelago? Archipelago? Never realized uh, how that's pronounced. So, go ahead and put it in your uh, comments. <laughs> Good luck with that. Um, let's see. So, I'm not even going to land. We're just going to hover around. Let's go into our inventory real quick. Okay, where are you taking me there, navigational data? Gotta get past all the graphic and all the fun. There we go. And that shows me where we're going. Usually just a couple minutes away. Seconds. Seconds away. And let's see what this system has to show. So again, what we find as far as the multi-tool is concerned is pretty much the multi-tool that will be found in every single one of these sites. So if it's not something you're interested in, move on to another system. I am about to land on a building. Close enough. Not bad. It's okay. I don't park really well most of the time. Okay. We have to do this in order to find a ship anyway, so let's go ahead and do it. Scan the magic registries. Uh, what do we got? So that's 13, 9, and 15. 13, 9, and 15. Input. 13, 13 is over here. 9 is there. And 15 is down here. Okay. Deactivate. All right. Let's check it out. Looks like the pistol version, so that's good. It'll change names. Uzula's Vector is now improved stasis. Um, there are no supercharged slots on this sucker, but these are supposed to be the most powerful weapon in the game right now. Okay? Even though they look to me like a paintball shooter. So, what we're going to do is look around for this, because this is really the kind of one that I'm looking for. I really want a powerful one. So, I could... I know, I got uh, hero to You is doing a lot of videos on ships and weapons and things like that. I swear that person must spend um, 16 to 20 hours a day playing No Man's Sky. Uh, must have hundreds of thousands of hours in the game at this point. So we're going to decline for now. I mean, he does great content, don't get me wrong. I did it again. Go back over here. Got to look for the ship. This is Spike. So, you know, great content he does. I really appreciate it because I kind of keep an eyeball on what he does. Even though I do watch a lot of Jason Plays and Beeblebum, Captain Steve. Um, uh, Zane from Zane's World, of course, he does all these analysis. He did an analysis, and that's the one that said the pistol versions, those are the ones to get. They have the highest damage output out of all the weapons. So that's what I'm looking for. You know me and damage. That's what I want. So anyway, I love the hovering ability of these things. The yeah, it's right over here, and I noticed that um, Survival Bob has been doing videos again about No Man's Sky. So I'm glad to welcome Bob back to the fold. I know he's been away. He's been playing the game, mind you, but he just hasn't been doing very many videos on it. So glad to see him back. Look forward to more Bob stuff. Oh, look at what we have there. That's an interesting looking ship. Yeah. 
Is this a swept wing? It could be. It could be. That may be the ship I've been looking for. I mean, it's, it's red and all, but... Atlas fire, huh? Oh, I'm kind of liking that. Okay, let me see what this thing look, looks like. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull the Pugnium out, of course. Put them in there for now, and that goes on my freighter. Okay. Let's see what we get. It's kind of a nice-looking ship, don't you think? I think it's a swept wing. I think we got a swept wing, finally. B-class. Um, don't particularly care for how far apart these supercharged slots are. But I'm going to go ahead and grab it because I'm really interested to see what it's like. So we're going to go ahead and swap. And let's check her out. Um, let's see what the wings do. I'm really, really interested in this. Oh, dude, it is. It is a swept wing fighter. Oh, my gosh. I'm really excited now. All right, let's take a look at this sucker. Uh, let's get the... Where'd my ship go? I hate when it does that. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Is that sharp or what? Yep, this is going to be a keeper. Not this one particularly. Like I said, the planet is now full of these ships. And the supercharged slots will always end up in different spots. So now it's just a matter of searching the planet and looking for what you're trying to find. So I'm going to be spending some serious time on this planet. Um, let's head back down. We won't be able to even pulse drive. I'm not even going to bother. Ooh, I got chills now. Like I said, this whole update has been very, very exciting. Now, the only thing we need, and I'd love to see them be able to do... Is that? That's an archive, huh? Yeah, it is. I don't think I've seen an archive that looked quite like that before. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm not landing at the archive. Let's take a quick run through. We're going to go ahead and scan again. If I can find myself an A-class or an S-class, I would be overjoyed. I'm going to need more of these echolocators soon. And now you know how to get those. So as soon as you get your first one, you can glitch out a whole bunch more. Okay. Oh, there it is to the left. It's just kind of blending in with the sky a little bit. Shouldn't be far. 25 seconds, yeah. Awesome. So this is really exciting. So I've got it has the right weapon on the planet and the right ship that I've been looking for. So I'm really kind of excited. Uh, the one that Hero to You found had like an assortment. Uh, the engines on the back looked like nine to twelve engines on the back. It looked really really neat. But I found this, so I'm kind of excited. <laughs> I just got chills again. Sorry. Yeah, my parking needs to be worked on. Sorry. Let's do this again. You're going to see you're going to hear me math again. Basics, addition and subtraction. 5, 9 and 5 again. Okay. All right. 5 9 and 5. And if you get it wrong, it won't, it just won't unlock. You can just go back real quick and check. That's the best part. But we got a storm coming in. I'm curious what the storms are like here. A class. Okay, so our two supercharged spots are over here, and this third one all the way over here. Not really worth it. Not really worth it. But look at that damage output. What do they have in here? Just a bolt caster. That is hilarious, and it's not even in a supercharged spot. That is really, really weird. Okay. All right, let's get our ship location unlocked. We'll go see if I get an A-class or an S-class. Uh, there we go. And if you saw my first video that I did, I released it, I think, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I was nowhere near as excited as I am right now about all this. And... 
the battles that I'm going through with this is just going to be so much fun. I'm going to look forward to doing a lot of those. And that's nothing like battling corrupted robots. I mean... Going to be really, really cool. All right. There she is. Like I said, they should all be exactly the same. Now, one thing you can look for when you first get to the ship, I want you to look at the top right. It'll tell you what class ship it is. Okay, so I already know it's a C class. The problem is if you don't claim the ship or you don't repair it, it will keep showing up. So you have to take it. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything off of it. Might as well just go ahead and do it. See, C class, really not that great. Not that great. But granted, we got a supercharged slot over here, and if we upgrade it, there's a possibility these could turn into supercharged slots too. But I'm really not interested in it. So, let me check my inventory. I've got five of these left, so I can go for five more ships. Um, I do want to double that count real quick, so we'll do that, and we'll show you doing it real quick. That's fairly simple to do. What you do is you can only put one harmonic brain in there at a time. Okay. Two, three, four, and five. And then pick them up. Now, if it doesn't work, you'll just get the one brain back. I said I got three. There they are. So it doesn't always get them all at the same time. So it looks like we have a total of... Uh, eight. Hold on. Seven of them, right? Yeah, okay. Storm clearing. I mean, oh, okay, it was one of those storms. Oh, that's crazy. I love those storms. We'll do it one more time. I just need a few more. I just want to make sure I'm up to snuff on these. There they are. It's because of the saving every minute. There we go. I've got four more. Um, one of the other things we're going to need, besides the harmonic brains, is we're going to need... Uh, let's see. We've got radiant shards... We'll need more radiant shards. Oh, and we're going to need echolocators. That's the one I was looking for. So we're going to get some echolocators. This is how you do it. I mean, you could you could do it the, the legitimate way. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. There we go. That should be enough. Oh, I did put four down. Okay. So that should give me 40 of them. 32. I got 32 of them. That's perfectly fine. And look like we got a couple more brains over here. We'll pull them in. Uh, let's put you up here. And we're running low on radiant shards, like I said. That's the only other thing we need more of. Um, which, you know, honestly, you can look around. You can't shoot them with your ship, unfortunately, because they require the upgraded laser. Um, let me just make sure. Yeah, I got the right tool. Um, so you could... Yeah, that just gives me uh, the Atlanta DM. I don't know if there's another pronunciation for it, but that's what I've been calling it. Okay, let's take another look. I'll get more of that later. Oh, I just got chills again. How does that keep happening? See, the hover ability is great because you can sit there and you can shoot at the ground and gather up resources. So, just keep that in mind. I don't know if I gathered up any. I didn't this time. But that's okay. Okay, where's the yellow icon? There it is. Now, I could scooch to another area of the planet, but it should pick out places that are you haven't already been to. So, this seems to be close by. Hopefully, it's not the same place, but I don't think it is. I'm very excited about this planet. This is going to be the planet, I think. Yep, see? It already is. It took me to the same place. You son of a biscuit eater. Okay. Yep, I called them a biscuit eater. Darn biscuit eaters. Although I like biscuits. Biscuits and gravy? Yeah. And you say ADHD? I can. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's see. Let's go over to the sunny side of the planet, shall we? And 
that should be far enough out. We'll take a look at the planet. Find ourselves a nice... Ah, that looks like a nice landmass over there. We'll head over there. And what we'll do is we'll make this the last shot of this episode, making it a one-hour episode. And then I'll probably do one more. Now, let's see if it'll find me another one. Doo -doo -doo. It better not take me to the other side of the planet. It should take me to some place very close by. <laughs> uh, how far away? Yep. Good deal. 30 seconds. And all these planets are purple. I take it this because of all the crystals on it. But every single one is purple. And I know that's going to excite uh, Jason Plays. Because Jason loves purple. That's his favorite color, apparently. And anything purple is him, his way of going, you know. I like blue. Green. Blue and green. Teal, you know, obviously mix. That's what I kind of like. Just, I think the blue looks better in the ships. I don't mind red. Red's okay. That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Here we go. So. Uh, yep, locked down, blah, blah, blah. Rejected. Scan. And let's math just one more time. 22 minus 8. Hold on, I know this. That's 14, and 9, and then 4. So 14, 9, 4. Do, 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 do. 14 and 9 and 4. Deactivate. Deactivated. Let's see if you got a decent pistol in here for me for once. C class. I'm going to say no. Let's go unlock the ship location. I already did that. Sorry. Pull back. I suspected that it would be detected. And there we go. By foot, 15 minutes, so it's really close by. Good news is, most of the time you don't have to recharge anything on these ships, because by the time you are, are going to be recharging, you end up finding a ship you want anyway, and you trade it, trade it up, if you will. Okay. There she is. Boom. Come on, baby. A-class or S-class, that's what I'm looking for here. It is an A-class. Alright, good deal. Let's get rid of our stuff. And take a look. Don't like the arrangement of the supercharged slots, but much better than what I've got right now. So I'm going to go upgrade to my A-class. So I'm going to compare and trade them out. Swap the ship. Okay. So this is now our ship. Blessing is what it says on the outside. I think it lies. Uh, let's see. Radiant shards. We're running low on them. We can only get one more ship. So I may just either look around for some or cheat some. There's a few up there. So you could cheat some, you know, glitch them out like I've been doing. Or you could find a, an outcropping like this. It's kind of satisfying getting new ones. It doesn't take much to get them. Look at all that stuff in the in the background. Look at all that graphical glitching going on from these things. That is just absolutely cool. Oh, nice cropping of them. There we go. Okay, and there's a few over there that we can see, a few down there. Um, but that gives us a bit more to go on. See, I'm up to 11 of them now. So I can go for a little longer. So I'm going to do another uh, search for a little bit more for one of these ships. And we'll come back in the next video and show you what I've, uh, what I've found. 
and we'll go from there. So, I think we're going to call it. Let's go ahead and get us a nice screenshot for this one. What do you think? We'll leave it right here. And we'll go on a pullback. Do we pull back even further? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's go down and get some of the sky. In background. This is actually a nice looking planet too. Yeah, let's go do a side view. Not too many people do that. And we'll get a nice little screenshot of it. Let's do a little bit of adjusting with the with the light. Should we do nighttime? Dusk? Complete darkness? Sun over there? I think I like the sun over there. Okay. We'll get that shot. I don't know if the glyphs appear. I will try to get them spliced onto the screen at some point. And we'll go ahead and take care of that later. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut it here at the end. And thank you all for watching. I mean, I'm going to go do some more searching for this ship and see what I can find. Um, going to hold off on Sentinel Battles for now. I think that's going to get worn out real quick, but I'm going to do some in the future. I've got some regular playthrough I'm going to start up as well. So keep an eye open for that. Uh, next Wednesday is going to be the last episode of the Permadeath playthrough because of certain things that happened during that. Um, but we'll get some other ones going. The Anomaly mission is going to be a little late. I usually come out with it Friday nights, but... I'll be coming out with it on Saturday morning, early, because I will be going out to dinner, having a little anniversary dinner with the wife, uh, since it is our wedding anniversary, like I've said in a couple of the videos. Um, so thank you all for watching. Again, hit that like and subscribe button. It always helps everybody out. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much, folks. Take care.